Jess White. I am 24 years old and my role is a museum supervisor and community archaeologist. I work at Clever Castle Museum and Helmshaw Mills Textile Museum as their museum supervisors. I also work for Pendle Hill Landscape Partnership as their community archaeologist and that's with loads of different communities all around Pendle Hill. Every single day is different, especially in the different roles I'm doing. You go around and do checks to make sure the objects are preserved for the future and for everyone else. You go talk to the public. I'm always talking to people coming and doing things on site. We'll have loads of different events. So it's not just the history in the museum. There's always lots of stuff going on as well. For the community archaeology work, that's going around to different communities within the landscape, helping them if they've found some things. So I recently went and looked at some different field boundaries, so it's all very varied from week to week and day to day. Like everyone, I was obsessed with dinosaurs in my childhood, but then I became obsessed with Egyptology, and then I didn't grow out of it, so I kept being obsessed with different parts of history, and that led me on to study GCSE history, my A-levels in history and classics, then went on to uni, um, and yeah, I've never stopped learning about history. I went to Archbishop High School, which is towards Preston. My college was Runshaw College, around Leyland. And then at uni, I went to University of York. So not down south, still in the north. And then I studied my bachelor's and my master's there. I would say my family were a bit shocked at the career choice I was taking. They all knew how passionate I was about history. That wasn't a surprise. My mum was very supportive of what course I wanted to take. But everyone else was definitely questioning why I wanted to go study archaeology and history. I didn't want a nine to five office job and I wanted my job to be something I'm passionate about because you're working for so long, it didn't make sense in my head to do something that I didn't have a passion for. Nobody ever comes into my sector for the money. You always do it because of the passion. You can live off the wage, that's all fine, but you know, you're definitely here for the passion of it and because you love what you're doing. If people thought my job was like Indiana Jones, I'd say it's very far from the truth. We very carefully look after our objects, catalogue them and make sure they're preserved. So it's yeah, very different to what Indiana Jones says. <laughs> You don't have set uniforms, but you do need very good footwear. So I basically wear either walking boots or really sturdy boots because you're walking around so much and just very comfy clothing. On average, I would quite easily clock up 10,000 steps each day. So you get a lot of walking, a lot of steps in. Very good for your health. <laughs> so if you've not been to Clifford Castle, we're on the top of a very big hill. You have a 360 degree shot of all of the different green landscapes. We've got Pendle Hill, and we've got Longridge Fell, and we've got loads of greenery all around us. And it's lovely to see that every time you come up, everybody remarks on it when they come and visit. You can go into archaeology with lots of practical field work. You don't necessarily need a degree, but it definitely helps. And for some of these roles, so for the museum supervisor one, you do need a relevant degree really in that field. I'd say volunteering is essential because in this sector we rely on volunteers for different roles um, but also everyone in the sector has volunteered previously in their career so it just looks really good that you're really willing to learn more, get that practical experience and everyone looks really highly on that. You should come visit Clifford Castle because we've got loads of stuff going on. We've got an amazing castle you can go around. We've got loads of different exhibitions. We've got stuff about folklore and witches, dinosaurs, geology, natural history. And we frequently have lots of events, so everyone should come and have a look up on top of the hill. Do you have a Jeff? Hmm? I think so. Do you pop it now? Yeah. Oh, no, I said I would.